Sonia here at the Zen Women's Studio, and I'm inspired to share with you uh, some yoga that I love to do that just, you know, kicks me back in, uh, feeling uh, alive, much like having just had a great nap or one of those sleeps that you just feel so refreshed and woke up in the morning. And this you can do mid-morning, in that afternoon time, three, four o'clock, um, or in the evening, uh, um, around seven or so when you kind of want to be awake a little bit longer and just need a little bit of a refresh. I wouldn't do it right before going to bed <laughs> necessarily, uh, cause when I do it, I definitely feel awake. So <laughs> definitely something you could do as your morning routine. Um, and so here we go. And actually, one of the best things about this is that you can do it in a very small space. You will need a wall. And as you can see, it's a very small space. So you don't have to have a big yoga studio to uh, do this or a big spot. You can pick a nice little cozy corner in your bedroom um, or in my case in my living room or anywhere you have uh, space and you don't even need a yoga mat. <laughs> uh, it's great uh, to do it barefoot if you haven't got a yoga mat. Uh, so if you're on carpet with socks, it's gonna be a little bit slippery. Um, and I love that I have a hardwood floor, so it's really great <laughs> just to use that. And you see that blanket back there? I'm gonna use that. So if so I'm going to show you how you can just use your blanket to do some yoga. Remembering that yoga is about uniting your breath with moving your body. So really the focus is on us moving our body and breathing and being in harmony and flow and connecting back to that natural flow that is within us. So being mindful. So this is not about it being um, a huge exercise class or anything like that. This is really taking uh, a reset and connecting to you. A lot of the moves I'm showing you, um, I mean on any level, um, particularly if you might have had a recent injury, because I'm uh, healing from one, and uh, so you'll be seeing me uh, making modifications for my own self, so uh, you can either use them take them or leave them. But uh, anyway, I invite you to try them. Even if you don't need them, just makes it a little more comfy cozy. Got your blanket and you just fold it in half. And just gonna roll it loosely. And uh, the best gauge is uh, folding it over so like it sits about your hips and then above your ankles. I find that works out to be about the right. <laughs> mode so that what happens is when you lie down, this fold apart sits right underneath your neck. And this is not about being elegant <laughs> or ladylike getting to the wall. It is what it is. So, uh, my space is going to be like this. And you want to scoot yourself up, your butt up as close to the wall as you can, and swing over. <laughs> it's a little bit slippery. Hold the blanket. There we go. All right. So, Yogi's Choice, whether you want your hands palmed up, palms down, on the belly, on your heart, heart and chest, whatever you feel like today. Just inhaling and exhaling. With this, I prefer breathing out the mouth. And I just love that feeling of feeling all the tingly blood flow flowing back, you know, up towards my legs and going to my heart and stimulating our venous flow. That's one of the reasons why I feel so good after because most of the time we're sitting or standing and blood is going to the rest of our body. 
body down. So this is a way to I usually stay here until I feel nice and complete. But if my body is telling me, yeah, we're good. Sometimes that's two minutes, sometimes it's 15. But I just want to show you guys the sequence. So, to get out of this pose, because um, my right leg is my better leg right now, I just bend that and then push myself out 90 and a little, a little bit more so that I'm able to bring my legs down and rotate onto my side. Maybe hang out here for a breath or two just to mm, bask in that. Mm. Okay, and then coming on up and uh, going to go into some. Um, cat and cow and I just roll up the rest of the blanket and put it under my knees because um, I'm taking care of my left one. And I'm doing it today without my brace. Uh, sometimes I do it with that make it easier for you guys to see. I'm doing without and for my own self. So let me just see if I can scratch that face. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like, you know, maybe here. Well, hello. All right, there we go. Elbows, wrists. Knees. Okay, feeling nice and solid. Fingers spread and inhaling. And exhale. And from here, going into child's pose, um, my preference is to do it with my arms extended. And again, because I'm taking care of my knee and I have about full range of motion yet for bending, I'm just going to bring my mind peace and my body confidence by putting it underneath. There we go. And I really like to do extended child's pose, rolling my shoulders down and back, spreading my fingers as I find this is a really good way to get a bit of an extra stretch through the spine down the hip, especially when we've been uh, maybe sitting and using our devices. It just allows me to open up a little bit more. Here, I'm going into downward dog. Spring toes under. Again, just in hands, feet. I'm going really easy, making sure not to lock my knees. My head, make sure it's nice and loose. Three breaths. Close our nose. And walking my hands, or sorry, walking my feet to my hands. And I like this closing the circuit my hands underneath my 
feet. Knees bent, chest resting on the knees. Mm. It's a really good stretch for the wrists as well. And on top of the feet, and then walking myself up, coming to forward fold, bending my knees, still feeling my chest resting on my upper thighs. And I'm just letting my arms hang, shaking my head no, shaking it yes. Inhaling to come up into airplane. So rolling my shoulders back, flat elongating through the spine, and then bringing my arms up to the side, and again stretching the fingers really soft in the four corners of my toes. Breaths when I'm all ready in through the nose. Come out. Inhaling. Bring it all the way up, rolling the shoulders down, and exhale. Clear. And I like doing that on the side, side bends. So inhale. This is a really great way to like open up and lengthen everything. Like a rainbow. Bending over, and being flexible, inhale, exhale, coming back to center, <sighs> and then shaking it out. Another thing I like to do is uh, chair pose. And uh, I'll just sink it down, start here. And then I like to um, do bent elbow because it really helps to open up the chest. I feel like I should do, as I'm looking at myself, <laughs> you know, I should do walk a little like an Egyptian. Anyway, okay, I do rest. All right. Okay. And then here. Here, bring up the chest and the arms. Inhale. I'll do that three times. And you know, you might have to keep your legs farther apart so that they're, everything is under your hips and knees aligned. yourself a little shake, shake the booty, you know, maybe a head roll, one side or the other. Oh, yes, and let's, let's do a twisting, that's really good. I like uh, putting my belly, my, oh my gosh, my head on my belly, the one on my back, just so that I can feel like I'm tilting my pelvis and shoulders are back and feel that I am actually breathing out when I'm inhaling and I can feel my belly going in when I exhale because um, I actually some most some of the time I'm doing reverse breathing so I'm still in the process of retraining myself so as I inhale and exhale and I also find it's a really great way for me to keep my uh, chest open when I when I do this this really helps me. Um, and we spend so much time hunched over, um, or well, I do. <laughs> so I really do my best to uh, to incorporate as many chest opening moves as I can, so that I can counteract any time that I'm spent. <laughs> And namaste. If you are needing some support right now, I have uh, free calls with me, chats, video chats, where I am more than happy to have a conversation to see how I can support you uh, for activating your vitality, for uh, finding ways to self-care, whether it's through yoga, um, 
holistic skincare and hair care, all of your self-care rituals. I am so happy to uh, support you to nurture and rejuvenate uh, for yourself. Thank you.